Welcome on in. Here in front of me, I got the ASUS ROG Ally Z1 Extreme. In today's video, we will be going through the ROG Ally showcasing Boulder's Gate. Boulder's Gate 3. Going through the best settings, graphical settings, video settings, or my preferable settings I use to play Boulder's Gate. Next part of the video, I'll be showcasing how to upscale the VRAM on the ROG Ally. And the last section will be the best way to save your battery life using your graphical settings. Baldur's Gate is one of my favorite JRPG games. Right now I played about 127 hours. It's crazy and I've not even finished the game. I've been doing a lot of side quests. I'm not gonna get into anything major. This is gonna be spoiler friendly. So this is Baldur's Gate on the ROG Ally. I'll show you my settings. I'll just show you how smooth the game runs with the settings I be using. I could upscale the graphics even further, but the only issue of doing that, you may have to keep the charger plugged in so you can get the best performance out of the ROG Ally. So let's have a quick run around, give you a quick feed of the game and the settings I play through. So at three is, is kind of like the most busiest moment in the game. There's a lot of NPCs around, so the game is getting very busy, but I have not had any crashes any screen freezing or no problems on the ROG Ally so far as I've been playing it. As you can see, it's very graphically pleasing. Baldur's Gate is the latest and perhaps the greatest attempt to bring Dungeons and Dragon games to the video game world, which comes in the form of a role playing video game, which allows you to create your character, have a party of companions, adventure, a single player or co-op with its immersive, rich storytelling, gameplay, making choices, it has you strategizing your every move. Each choice you make playing has a direct or indirect impact on your adventure from fellowship to betrayal. All right, let's head to the campsite so you could get the detail of the skins and the characters. Nothing to complain about. I really cannot complain. I'm happy with the settings. It's not on low features. Settings I'm using at the moment on the ROG Ally, I had no issues whatsoever. All right, let's head back out and let's show you the settings I'll be using. Once you are in the options, scroll over to video. So I'm always on full screen mode. So on full screen mode, the ROG Ally knows to focus its process on Baldur's Gate 3. So if we scroll down to the refresh rate, I keep my refresh rate on 120 Hertz. V-Sync's on triple buffering. Frame cap is off. So if we go down to, no, ooh, ooh, I normally do use AMD FSR. I'll come back to that. So let's scroll down and go to my settings. So I have it on overall presets ultra. Model quality is high. Shadow quality is high. Cloud quality is ultra. Texture quality is ultra. Texture filtering is on 16 times. So my instant distance is on high. Fog quality is ultra. The detail distance is high. The animation level of detail is high. And slow HDD mode off. If I scroll back up and bring you to AMD FSR 2.2, so this improves the performance while maintaining better image quality than if you were to run the game at lower resolution. When you drop frames or resolution, the AMD FSR 2.2 kicks in. But the problem is when you have this on, it changes your settings to custom. That's fine. My overall preset was ultra qualities. It's the same difference, but this is like a backup. It doesn't make a huge difference. It should keep my settings the same. To be fair, I don't know if it takes a bit of the quality out of what I just had it on. All right, let's head back to Boulder's Gate where it's a bit more hectic. Boulder's Gate consistently keeps the game patched up to date. So any bugs, they don't really last too long on Boulder's Gate. You did have any issues in the beginning. Yeah, the AMD FSR 2.2 Hasn't really made a huge change, it's more or less the same thing, but you can rely on the AMD FSR 2.2 to automatically 
upscale you when your resolution is low. No screen tearing or screen shaking. You can switch between characters fairly easily without no worries. All the settings work really quick. Sounds good. Only Lord Gortash has the strength to protect our city. Honestly, I really do enjoy this game for a turn based game as well. I haven't played a turn based game this good in a long time, and I really did enjoy turn based games growing up. And honestly speaking, this game has everything I could ask for in a video game. Even down from the character creation. Everything is so detailed. If you're gonna try my settings out, let me know if it worked out for you. Or if you've got settings what look better than this, run smoother than this, let me know in the comments. I'll give it a try. All right, we've got the real time settings. CPU's running at 36%. GPU's at 97. Temperature's at 78, sitting nice and cool. The APU, what is 30, and we got about 23 frames per second at the moment. With well over 120 hours of content on this game, it's a great game to bring with you on your Rogue Ally. It's very addictive, I cannot lie. This is like the main game I play on the Rogue Ally. Head to Armory Crate, head to Settings, Operating Mode, GPU Settings. Once you're in GPU Settings, by default, the ROG Allies sets aside the 4 gig of RAM or memory for integrated graphics. You can adjust it according to your own needs. You want to increase the VRAM to use higher resolution texture in modern games like Baldur's Gate 3, which we are playing. So to do this, we go to settings. You can put it up right up to 8 if you wanted to. Restart your device. Do bear in mind, it does depend on the game you are playing. But you can just keep it on auto if you really wanted to as well. I'm sure there's an auto on there. Yeah, auto is on there as well. So you can keep it on auto, but we'll keep on 8G for now. I'm normally, I normally do have it on 6, but I'm going to try the 8 for today's video. So this is for more performance for Baldur's Gate 3. So let's head back to Baldur's Gate. So now this is the VRAN up. It does look a bit smoother now, actually. I didn't realize I had it on four. It's normally on six. But yeah, it looks a lot smoother. The colors look a bit better as well. Let's get the real time. We're hitting up to 40 watts now. For the best graphical setting to save your battery life, I will recommend 15 watts. Definitely 15 watts. A lower resolution. I normally do keep it at 1080. You can drop the resolution to 720 or even a 900p to be the safe side because 720 does look a bit blurry. To save on the battery, I would drop the resolution probably down to 900. Yeah, 900, I'll drop the resolution down to 720. Might be a bit too much. I'll drop it down to 900. And then I'll turn the FSR2 on quality or balance between those two. This is just to save the battery, but this is to save on battery. Let me just check if I got it on um, 15 watts. Nope. 15 watts performance, still pretty fast. Loading's quick. Even the quality has been lowered. I can feel something feels a bit different. I could say it feels a bit smoother with the settings dropped, but it still looks just as good. Dropping the resolution on the ROG Ally is not a huge loss because the screen is a small screen, so it still looks just as amazing. 
the 1080p, but the 1080p is just a bit sharper. Hope these settings have helped you today. Let me know what settings you use or let me know if you want to try out my settings. Remember to subscribe because it really does help the channel. I'm working on a new series. Do keep an eye out for that. Hopefully it'll drop this week or next week. But have a great week and look after yourselves. Peace.